Hello everyone, this is Alan here for Nate's Fun Challenge for October. I'm going to choose three of the many items. I believe Nate has 86 on this list. So hopefully I get three easy ones like I did last week. And the first one I have is number 64. Number 64 is Must Use Red. Well, that's your favorite color. Well, that's going to be tough. <laughs> okay, Must Use Red. Number two of the challenge is going to be number 53. 53 is... No greens. Oh man. <laughs> we were hoping we'd get some greens chosen because we got we got a bunch of them just mixed up. Okay, third challenge or third choice out of the challenge is number 84. I just had that one. Must use sepia tone colors. Well you can't do that with well, you could do that with red. Do you want to put it back? I'm going to put that one back because I did that. Sep I had that sepia colors last week, so I'm going to choose one more. Hopefully, it isn't 84 again. <laughs> Number 30. Okay, we had that one last week. What is it? It is. Do we have someone to paint with? You must walk them through this painting process, but you can't see what they are doing. So blindfold yourself. That's not fair, though, because I know how to paint. So we're going to throw that one back. We're going to choose one more. Number 43. And number 43 is must do tree, tree ring pour. So I must do a tree ring pour. With no green, but you can use With red. no green, but must use red. So. so now I'm going to take a break because i got to prep my canvas, get my colors chosen, and be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got my canvas prepped. I've, got, I've chosen a 12 by 12 canvas. Uh, I have to use red. I cannot use green and it has to be a tree ring pour. So what I've chosen is we've got some extra Soho Crimson. I'm going to start out with that. Then I'm going to follow that up with black. Then I'm going to go with Artist Loft. Flow bright red. Then I'm going to separate that with white. And for those of you that have been following me, I have never done a tree ring pour. So this is going to be a new experience for me and for you. And I'm going to finish with Lucas Carmine. Then I'm just going to put black back in there. Then I'm going to do the same series all over again. I'm going to alternate the white and the black this time. do one more layer 
back to my red. Back to my black. Then the artist left with bright red. Followed by the white. And last but not least is the Lucas Carmine. I'm gonna squeeze the cup. As you can see, I'm getting different layers of the color as they come out. My white seems to have disappeared. A lot of people make this look a lot easier than it actually is. So I'd like to say thank you very much, Nate, for this challenge. But you took me out of my comfort zone. No gadget magic in this one. Just the cop. <laughs> Crimson red showing up. It's a big hole. Okay, guys, I had to uh, mix up, mix up, bleh, bleh, I can't speak. Mix up some black around uh, to pour around the outer edge. Try not to lose too much of the shape of the rings, but I do want to carry it out. So I'm going to break down the one edge. Come around. Look at that crimson glare.
around and around and around we go. <laughs> Where, Where is that? that? Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. <laughs> Sounds like it's raining in here with all the paint that's dripping off. For those of you who have not been following the weather, we had a little uh, <laughs> visit from Hurricane Michael here last night. Lost our power for about five hours, so I was unable to do the challenge last night. And a tree down. <laughs> tree fell down. I was chasing garbage all over the neighborhood. <laughs> so I'll hit this one corner without losing. You get that with your finger, can you? You got more paint in your cup. I do. I love that crimson. black on the pen? I have a little black, I have a little white, <laughs> a lot of red, a lot of black actually. Touch up the edges. You did a good job Mr. Welch. Well thank you very much Mrs. Welch. <laughs> that makes me feel old. <laughs> And to those who are watching, I am not being sneaky. I have a, I have the coach in the background Ooh. just assisting. Assisting you with what? The camera. I have not helped him. Okay. You need to torch it. I probably need to change my gloves so I don't drip on the painting. You look like you just did surgery on an alien. Just torch it first, Alan, before you put your gloves on. And I have not caught <coughs> anything on fire yet. Don't say that. Then you will. That looks good. That actually looks really cool. Um, resin. Put my gloves back on, give you a little better look at it. A little close up. Unpredictable and unpredictability of the Tree ring four. Let's give you a close up. I 
can't take a picture. <laughs> when you tilt. That's pretty. It's going to dry different. You know how it looks kind of gray in some spots, but it's going to mm -hmm. dry more red. Nice job, Alan. Okay. Well, for all of you that have joined us, okay. just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, for all of your resin needs, Please uh, refer to the stone coat link below. The uh, code to save uh, $30, $30 off an $80 purchase is CWA in caps. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to send a, the questions to the link below to uh, Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com. And thank you for joining. Thank you, Nate, for the challenge. Hope it lives up to your standards. Good night, everyone.